So again, come into whatever comfortable position is honoring of you and your body right now. You might just come back into the position you're in. You might take extra support. Try to just make yourself maybe 5 or 10% more comfortable than you were before. Maybe an extra blanket of warmth. You might like your socks if they're not on. So as we come to our practice of yoga nidra, setting an intention, our sankalpa, our resolve. So taking a moment to really honor what it is that you are seeking through your practice. So when we work with the tradition of the IRS yoga nidra, which is a modern adaption, we work with three principles of the Sankalpa. The first being our heartfelt desire, our deepest longing, our heartfelt prayer, what we want more than anything else in the world, our deepest longing. And that might be something that is for yourself, for a community, for the globe. It aligns to your core values. It expresses the truth of who you are, your dharma, what you're here to learn, what lessons you're here to share, what gifts you're here to weave. And so whatever begins to bubble up to the surface here, allow it to be phrased in the present tense. So it's a statement of fact that's already true in the moment. So not, I will lose weight. I make healthy choices. And hear the invitation with the heartfelt desire, depending what comes through, to really affirm it. So you might even put, I will make healthy choices, or I will walk my path with grace. Whatever it is you might like for tonight, just work with your sense of that word, will, bringing that extra emphasis or oomph to your heartfelt desire. And then we feel into what's going on for us right here, right now, knowing that we can present differently that huge, broad spectrum of human experience at any place at any time. So how are we presenting right now might be how we set our intention for the practice. If we're really tired, we might set an intention to stay awake and aware. Or if we're really tired, we might set an intention around allowing the self to sleep. If you're wanting to explore something, you might allow that I will surrender to all that arises during my practice of I rest. Or I stay open to whatever emotion, thought, feeling arises and what message or lesson it might have for me. But however you're presenting right now, setting an intention that supports you to meet that heartfelt desire. And then for the practice of yoga nidra, there's our little safety measure, like our seat belt for the practice. We call in an inner resource, an inner feeling of well-being that we can work with at any time throughout the practice. If we feel unsafe, if we want to feel secure, we want to feel grounded, we want to feel at ease. So that might be a memory of when life was blessing you, you felt like things were going your way. As the yogis say, the prana was flowing. She was going my way. It might be a memory of something that you achieved after working really hard for it when at the start you just didn't believe that you could do it, but you did, you overcame it and you completed it. You achieved that accomplishment. 
It could be a wisdom figure, a power animal, your favourite place in nature. Whatever it is, allow it to completely fill your being. So if it's your favourite place in nature, maybe that's the beach, allow the sense of the warmth of the sand under your feet or the breeze of the sea breeze in your hair or the sun shining on your back. Really draw a full sensory experience of your inner resource. And notice how that affects your body and mind, calling in this feeling of well-being. And if you're still a little unsure, it's that feeling you get on a cold day when you just get inside from the cold and rain and someone passes you a warm cup of tea and you take a seat on the warm couch by the fire. Or on a hot day when you make your way into a cool place and you sit down with a cool drink in your hand, that inner feeling of well-being. And so at any time during the practice, you can call in this feeling of well-being to make you feel safe, secure and at So let's begin the practice now by allowing my words to become your words as we guide our attention around the physical body. Begin with your mouth. Be present to all the textures, all the qualities, all the sensations in your mouth. Notice from the top, the roof of the mouth, down to the bottom. From one side, the inner cheek to the other. Notice the structure of the gums, the teeth. The chin, the jaw. The lips. Your tongue, the whole mouth and tongue together as a field of radiance and aliveness radiating in all directions simultaneously. And follow that radiance as it runs from the back of your throat through the inner ear canals through that soft, velvety pathway flowing outward towards the outer exterior of your ears, the ripples, the folds, the valley. Be aware of the presence of the internal space of your ears and the external space of your ears. This felt sense of both ears together as this field of radiance, aliveness, radiating in all directions simultaneously. And feel the touch of the breath at the nostril. Feeling those tiny nasal hairs gently moving with the flow of your breath. As you meet, as you breathe in, as you breathe out. And from the bridge of the nose, follow the structure from the bridge of the nose to the cheekbone to the temples, to the brow. Be present to the structure that supports your eye. And 
and be present to the eyes gently resting within that support. The touch of the eyelid. The whole space behind your eyes. The whole space in front of your eyes. The sense of both eyes as these spheres or orbs of radiance, aliveness, radiating in all directions. Simultaneously. And the whole touch of the forest. Be present to the felt sense of temperature at your forehead. The touch of the whole face. The whole face is this field of radiance, a field of aliveness. Trillions, billions of tiny sensations. Follow through to the crown of your head. to the whole scalp. To the touch of the imprint, the back of your head mate, against the support beneath you. The whole left side of your head and brain cavity. The whole right side of your head and brain cavity. The whole head. Your whole head. back of your neck, the curve of the back of your neck, follow along your spine, vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, follow down through your upper back. The middle of the back, down towards the lower back, the sacrum, the triangle bone at the base of the spine, all the way to the tailbone. The whole length of your spine, your whole skull and length of your spine, whole skull and length of your spine. And come to the front of your neck, that little notch at the base of the throat. Follow sensation flowing towards the left shoulder into the armpit, the upper arm, the elbow, lower arm. The left wrist, the 
palm of the left hand. Sensation at the palm of your left hand. Left thumb. First finger. Middle finger. Third finger. Little finger. All the fingers together. Whole left hand. The whole left arm. The left side of the rib cage. The left waist. Left hip. Upper leg. Left knee. Lower leg. Left ankle. Heel. The top of the foot. Sole of your left foot. Left big toe. Second toe. Middle toe. Fourth toe. The little toe. All the toes together. The whole left foot. The whole left leg. The whole left side of the torso. The whole left side of your body. The whole left side of your body. Let your attention rest again at that notch at the base of your throat. Follow a sensation towards the right shoulder. The armpit. Upper arm, right elbow, lower arm, right wrist. Palm of the hand. Sensation at the palm of your right hand. Right thumb. First finger. Middle finger. Third finger, left 
little finger. All the fingers together. The whole right hand. The whole right arm. The right side of the rib cage. Right waist. Right hip. Upper leg. Right knee. Lower leg. Right ankle. Heel. The top of the foot. The sole of your right foot. Right big toe. Second toe. Middle toe. The fourth toe. The little toe. All the toes together. The whole right foot. The whole right leg. The whole right side of your torso. The whole right side of your body. The whole right side of your body. The whole body. The whole body. The symphony of sensation. Your own unique melody. Whole body. Whole body. Become aware of your breath, breathing your body. Just as it is. without trying to change anything, allowing it to be just as it is. Perfect in this moment. Can we be with it all just as it is? And here in this deeply relaxed day, notice the changing thoughts, feelings, sensations. They reveal an unchanging awareness that's always here, whether the mind arises or not. That witnessing presence. Allow yourself to surrender into that place just as it is.
And being open here to receive any understandings, any guidance, any remembering. Open to receive. And take a moment here to state and claim your heartfelt desire, your deepest longing, what you want more than anything else in the world. You might like to restate your intention. You might like to formulate a future intention, a future practice. And call in your inner resource, experiment and explore, finding that feeling of well-being within, calling that favourite place in nature, wisdom figure, the power animal, that memory in time. And notice when you call it in how it affects your body and mind. And the more that we call it in, the more that we practice this, this embodies within us, an embodiment practice. So it's always there for you, not just in your practice of yoga nidra, but in fact during your daily life. So that when you're in that place, you always know the perfect response any situation that arises. The practice of virus continues. When you're it's here, when you're awake, it's here when you sleep. It's here in those times when we awake in the morning, when we close our eyes at night. Always here, it's witnessing presence. Ever so gently now, letting go of the practice. You might just like to mute now and drift off to sleep or you're in bed, that might feel like a good option. If you'd like to join us in closing the practice, you're most welcome. So begin to first feel the presence of the meeting points between the back of your body and the support beneath you. When you have that established as a sense of ground, let your attention then travel to the periphery. So you're bringing a little bit of movement to the fingers or the toe. You might like to roll your head side to side. You might trace your teeth with your tongue or swallow a few times. As you feel ready, you might let the movement become a little bit more, rotating the wrist, the ankles. You might even begin to reach an arm up overhead, stretching out. You might like to stretch and lengthen out through your leg. When you feel ready, you might draw a knee at a time in towards your chest and hug the knees. You might rock a little back and forward or side to side. From there, just gently roll to your side. You can stay here longer if you like. You can pause here. 
or gently roll up through your spine, let the head and shoulders come up last. So there's a somatic rolling up through your spine as you come up and way down. And if you'd like to join me in the closing mudra, take a comfortable seated position. You might like to bring your hands together at the heart centre. You might like to close your eyes or you could let your gaze rest where the little fingers meet. So first take a moment here of gratitude for yourself, for your commitment to your practice. Take a moment of gratitude to all those that held this sacred circle of practice, all those that were with us this evening, holding the space. And then from here, take a breath in. As you exhale, bring your thumbs to your eyebrow center, Asking to know your truth. Inhale again as you exhale. Let your thumbs rest at the lips for courage and confidence to speak your truth. Inhale again here as you exhale. Let the thumbs rest towards the heart center, allowing to feel the truth. Take another breath in here as you exhale. Bow your head towards your hands, towards the earth. And then inhale, roll up through your spine. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.